What's up guys, my name is Ben from Crazy Cubing and today I'm going to be teaching you how to lube a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Alright, so today I'm going to be lubing these two Rubik's Cubes and I'm going to be showing you how to do it. So, there are two ways that you can lube a Rubik's Cube. The first way is you can just pop out an edge and then take some lube and um, put it right in there and um, it would be a lot better but not as good as it could be so I am I don't really I'm not going to do the first way right now but I will show you how to do the second way alright so first what you want to do is you want to take either of your cubes both of these cubes need to be lubed and you want to disassemble it so you could pop out a corner pop out an edge first whatever or even unscrew it if you have to just take it apart until oh gosh take it apart until you only have the core and then we'll move on to the next step All right, so the next step is to clean off all the pieces. So I have a paper towel here, and I'm just going to clean off the insides of the pieces a little bit because as you can see, um, there is a little bit of like hairs and stuff inside of here, which does happen. So you don't want those in there, and there's a lot of dry grease in here. So you want to just clean that all out. And you do not have to be very precise with this, just a quick wipe off will be fine. But just do this to every piece. Alright, so now that you have all of your pieces cleaned off and your core cleaned off a little bit, what you want to do is you want to take some lube um, and I use two different weight lubes in this video. However, you can only use one. I also use Traxxas lube, um, but you can use just any other kind of lube. But I figure that this lube is actually really good quality and it is also very cheap for how much is in these bottles. So yeah, so first we're gonna use 50 weight, 50K. Um, and then we're going to use 30k after this step, um, but you could use 30k for both steps or 50k for both steps, just depending on what you have. So now take your 50k or whatever you're using and you want to pop the cap off and it is very like um, dense kind of, so it will take a while to get to the bottom. There's a little bubble there for some reason. So after it's all at the bottom, what you want to do is you want to um, open like open up a part of the center like this a little bit so you can see a little bit of the space in the springs and just want to put a little drop of lube right in there. And then you want to do that for all of the centers. So I already did orange, now I'll do green. And then I will do red, and then blue, and then white, and then yellow. Alright, so after you have a little bit of lube in each of the centers, as you can see my hands are a little bit luby, just um, twist each of the centers a little bit just to get the um, lube worked into the springs, and you can also pop it out little bit and turn it just whatever you need to do to um, get it like into the spring area or the screw area 
And after you've done that to all of the centers, we can move on to the next step. All right, so yeah, this is all worked in and it's, the, it's already feeling a lot better. So now what we want to do is we want to reassemble the cube. All right, so now let's put it back together. I'm just gonna solve it real quick. All right, so now that your cube is back to solved, and I have no idea why these little black dots are appearing on this. It's probably because of the lube, just little dried up lube that's coming out of the core. Um, so anyways, after it's solved, what you want to do is you just want to pop out an edge like this, and then you want to lube it the first way I showed you. So um, use whatever weight lube ha you have, or whatever kind of lube. So um, I am going to use 30K for right now. And then you can just put a little bit on the inside, on the innermost side of the mechanism. And then you can also put like a little bit just right here on the edge, on a different edge. And then all you want to do is you want to pop this edge back in. And you just want to mix this up. Um, you could just do random turns on every side or you could just mix it up again and solve it um, it doesn't really matter just as long as you get all of the lube worked in so even just right now this is feeling a lot better so yeah I really like lube it is very good to help cubes this was a pretty bad cube before but now it's a lot better And if you need more lube, if um, you don't see, so you want to look and see if it's like evenly spread through the whole cube. And if it is, then you're fine. But if it isn't, you might need a little bit more. Like I think I will probably need a tiny bit more lube in here. So yeah, that's it for lubing it the second way. The first way is just um, the last half of this video and the second way is just pretty much an extra step or two added on but yeah both of those are pretty easy um, it doesn't take too much time when I was just starting off cubing I like dreaded lubing my cube like I did not want to get lube because I thought it would take like forever just to lube it and it wouldn't be worth it but now I really like it because it is worth it it's worth the time for making your cubes better. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. So I will see you guys next time.